Candy me, salty dog. Candy me, salty dog. Candy me, salty dog. Well, if you won't be my candy man, I won't be your salty Welcome dog. to another special edition of Junk Food on the Road on the Road. We are on the road. We're next to Kingston, Ontario on the 401. Yes. And today, our topic is going to be... Bulk Barn. Especially Bulk Barn Road Trip Snacks. Yeah, I think I think, I think we should split this off into two things, because there might be several people listening to this who have no idea what Bulk Barn is. I'm pretty sure it's all over Canada, and I'm pretty sure there's none in the U.S. You're right. And I'm in Europe or wherever else people might listen to this. but So I think it's a Canadian thing, but I think it's all over Canada. So Bulk Barn is basically... I mean, it's so, the name is sort of description, except for the barn part. But I don't a, know why, where the barn comes from. I'm sure at one point the first one looked like a barn. Maybe. But it's 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 now owned by the Loblaws Company or Weston. Yeah. And Weston owns uh, a chain of supermarkets, a couple of chains of supermarkets, uh, a chain of uh, pharmacies. Bakeries. Bakeries. They started as a bakery. And actually, Weston it has some sort of notoriety in the snack world because um, Weston was the company that kept Hostess alive because when Hostess went out of business in the United States, Weston owned Hostess in, in Canada. Canada and so they kept so while all you Americans were thought Twinkies were going to go away, there was no worry about that for us in Canada Weston was, had no reason at all to stop making Twinkies so they actually kept going. I think, and, they, I think they made a little bit more for the cross border Traffic. Yeah, there was actually a whole thing where there was people were bringing Twinkies into to the United States from Canada. Selling them on eBay. Yeah, so Canada had no, you know, if you Americans are ever afraid that Twinkies are going to go away again, rest assured that no matter what, you can come north and, and get yourself some Twinkies. As long as there's a Weston, there's a Twinkie. And Weston owns a lot more than just one thing. Like, they're a huge company here. Like, if you go to almost any city, you'll probably see something that's owned by Weston. So, so Bulk Barn is owned by Weston. Bulk Barn is owned by Weston. And Bulk Barn is a bulk store. So the idea is you go in there and you can buy, not bulk amounts like Costco, but bulk is in you can get a little scoop of whatever. You kind of get any amount or of something you, can you want. you get a giant bag if you want. If you want, or you can literally get two of yeah. something. Like, like you, for, for what, they have uh, coffee beans and they have grinders, so you can grind it if you want to. And they have a bunch of different flavors. So I went through for a few months every couple of weeks I'd get a new bag of a different flavor of coffee but I would just get like 100 grams or 200 grams just to try it yeah and spices it's very good so if you have a recipe that maybe calls for a spice that you don't normally keep in your cupboard and you don't know if you're going to make this recipe again you can literally just buy like the you know two tablespoons of this spice and they will ring it up for you you know if you can get one coffee bean they will ring it up for you so it's kind of neat that way. The one thing is that um, when you think of bulk, you usually think cheaper. But the bulk barn is not necessarily cheaper. But it does have a really good variety. And if like there's something that's only available in like a one kilo slash two pound pack somewhere else, you can actually go and just get like 50 grams or like three ounces of it yeah. and, and try it out. Or like if it's, that's all you need and you don't want to buy like a whole you know, two pounds of flour, you can just go and get the cup of flour that you need. Yeah. So it's a little bit more expensive. But marginally. But marginally. And it's it's really good for, like, if you have specific amounts of things that you need. Yeah, I would never buy, like, my regular flour there because I know I'm going to go through it. But if I wanted to try a new kind of flour, maybe before trying buying a bulk, a big thing of it, I would I would go to Bulk Barn and they have such a huge selection that it's often you will find a lot of the stuff you want, including liquids. For nut butters, it's actually a little cheaper than buying like a, a, a fancy jar of almond butter from the grocery shelves. You can actually go and get it out of like a bulk container and put it in like a little sort of plastic, what looks like a sour cream container. And that's actually cheaper. So there are some things that you can save money on. And they have fresh grinders, so that you can get peanut butter that is literally, you can grind it yourself there. Yeah, you can do that at Whole Foods, too. Yeah, it's fun, though. It is fun. Yeah. So, it's, it's a, a lot of grocery stores have these sort of bulk sections, but this store is just completely that. And so, and, and it, inclu- it includes snacks, which is kind of neat. Like, they even have, like, Cheetos and chips and banana chips, and they have gummies and gumballs. And they have a pet section. 
spices. You get um, craft dinner type. Yeah, the powder. Orange powder. Orange death, as I like to call it. Um, yeah, I get I get my. You get, you get pasta, spices, teas, coffees. You can also get teas in boxes there. You can also get single cups of curries if you want to try like different um, different types of curry coffee. Yep. Um, some vitamins, some soaps, um, like all sorts of fun like hemp seeds and chia seeds and and poppy seeds and. Well, and one of the cool things about sort of in the snack candy world, two actually two other things. One of the things is you uh, can get candy bars in bulk, sort of in pieces. So it's almost like the, the rejected broken ones, but it's it's kind of neat, again, if you want to try some, or if you want to get a lot of one particular kind of candy, maybe if you're going to bake with it or something, and you want a lot of it, and you don't want to, it's already unpackaged, and you just kind of scoop it out. But the other thing that's sort of interesting about Bulk Barn is they have a little sort of candy section at the front by the cash, and it is very unique candy that you don't find in a lot of places. A lot of Canadian candy bars, but also like a lot of sort of like old timey, you know, Lickamades and uh, the pi- the pirate gold treasure gum and like all kinds of you know weird stuff like that that you don't normally find in like grocery store shelf candies. Like you might find it at your local co- corner store, but not quite as much. Like they have a better selection there, so it's kind of neat. You know, it's it's a really unique thing, but. The thing, I mean, I think that describes Bulk Barn pretty well. Yeah, I think we're done describing Bulk Barn. So the reason we love Bulk Barn for road trips is because, A, there's great selection, but also there's, like, the opportunity to just pick what, as much as you want, sort of have samplers, too. Yeah, and, like, there's certain things that we really like. Like, there's, like, certain trail mixes, like, one's called This Is Why I Run. Um, and then, they, you know, I'm allergic to sugar, so they do have... Um, no sugar, dark chocolate coated walnut, not walnuts, um, hazelnuts and almonds. That's a go-to. That's a go-to. That's every road trip we get some of that. They have these little squares, like sometimes, like they're pumpkin seeds. They're sort of like those sesame squares that you get prepackaged, but they they make them out of pumpkin seeds, and they have some that are made out of like um, almonds, some that are made out of. I don't know, like there's, there's just various, it has sunflower seeds, I think, and they're just done up in these little squares mixed up with some other little nuts and seeds and held together with honey, and they're they're super yummy. Yeah, those are great. Yeah. We haven't actually gotten those in quite a while. Yeah, yeah. But they also have nuts, so you can do like, get all kinds of different kinds of nuts and stuff like that, so if you want to like, travel, again, a road trip is perfect, if you want to make your own nut mix, you just... And the thing is, like, literally, the cool thing is, there's a lot of towns and cities in Canada have them, so if you run out, you can, like, go there, just pull in and get some, and you could get, like, a mix of different kinds of nuts and then mix them all together in your bag and sort of make your own sort of mixed nut thing. And one of the things I really like about their nut selection is you can get walnut crumbs, walnut pieces, walnut halves, um, you can get um, raw sunflower seeds, raw pumpkin seeds, raw almonds, you can get roasted unsalted of those things, you can get roasted salted of those things. We've actually had roasted salted Brazil nuts from there. Yeah. Which is like, I had never seen, like maybe it exists somewhere else, I just don't know. Yeah, so they, they have like a really, again, variety is really the, the key to bulk barns. Uh, yeah. And, and, it, and at Christmas time, it's one of the only places outside of Atlantic Canada that you can find chicken bones. Yeah, which, you know, check out candycritic.org, got a review, let you know what chicken bone is, what a chicken bone is if you don't know. Yeah, so. I'm not a fan, but lots of people are. Yep, and that's, they do have seasonal turnover, so if you go during, like, Easter, they have, like, you know, you can get Easter eggs, and Christmas, they have Christmas stuff, and so it's always, and they always have new stuff for each holiday. I mean, COVID, the last couple of years, has been a little bit slower, because, you know, they've been a little, they didn't want to get too crazy, but at Halloween. It's still there. It's still there, and they have a lot of stuff, like, maybe you wouldn't give away for trick-or-treating on Halloween, but sort of, like, you're throwing a party and stuff like that, you might find some cool stuff. And they have a lot of, like, snacky things, which for us is road trip snacks, that you necessarily wouldn't find somewhere else, like chocolate-covered pretzels, or chocolate-covered gummies, or, yeah. you know... Chocolate-covered ginger, or like special, Yeah, special, those special mixes, like the This Is Why I Run, they have a whole bunch of those things, with a bunch of different things in each mix. They've got a lot of granolas. They have hemp granola. The, I, I think the last bulk bar we went into, I think they had like 10 bins of different types of granola. Yeah. And again, it's cool because if, if you're not sure if you're going to like it, get like literally a bowl's worth. Yeah, Pick it up. A handful. 
a handful of it. They do not look askance at you if you have just like, uh, you know, like something the size of your thumb. And yeah. You, and you just walk up and buy it. You could easily put a gummy worm in a bag. Yeah, just one. One. Go up there and they're not even, they won't say anything. And in non-COVID times, you can use your own container. So yeah. you, they, they have two rules about using your own container. Like it doesn't have to be something that you bought from them. It can be anything. But it has to be clean. Um, so you have to have it cleaned out yourself. And you have to weigh it when you get in the store. And they will write the weight of the container on the magic marker. And then they will subtract that from the cost of what you bought. Yeah. So it's totally fair and pretty awesome. Yeah. So you can bring in a glass jar if you want that yeah. you're going to put on your counter. Fill it up with what you want. Weigh the glass jar on the way in. And you can ask them not to write it or to write it on a piece of paper or something. Yeah, they use a thing that washes off, though, so... Yeah, that's true. It's not a big deal. But, uh, uh, one of the reasons I love it for Candy Critic is because sometimes, like, gummies and stuff like that, first of all, I don't have to get a whole bag. I can go to I can go to Bulk Barn, and for the price of, like, a bag of gummies that I would get at a store, I can get, like, four or five different varieties of gummies and yeah. get to try them. And if I don't like them, it's not a big deal that I won't have, like, a giant bag of them that I have to finish. But also, one of the cool things is, like, with, um, I did this with, uh, what do they call the chocolates? The quality streets. I can make sure that I get one of each kind. So they also don't mind if you sit there over a bin and pick out exactly the one you want out of that bin. Yeah. They, they're, pre- they're pretty much their rule is like, don't eat it straight out of the bin before yeah. you bought it. No sampling. And like, and like, don't stick your hand in. Yeah. Like, use the, use the, the tongs or the scoops. Particularly during COVID. They've, got, they've actually had pretty good COVID uh, rules. Like, they, they, they give you gloves. COVID rules, and unlike a lot of places, if you inadvertently walk past the hand sanitizer slash glove area, they'll, like, you know, if you're at the bulk board you're not familiar with, <coughs> they will stop you and say, oh, please sanitize. And they give you plastic gloves. Yeah. So it's like, and one of the things you'll notice at Bulk Barn is they're constantly cleaning it. There are basically two employees at least at every Bulk Barn. There's a cashier and there's somebody cleaning because there's obviously spillage and stuff with, you know, the bins, and they're always refilling the bins and stuff like that. So there's a, they're pretty good. I mean, I don't know about the background and what happens or anything, and I, you maybe don't don't choose to know because I like Bulk Barn and I want to go back. But as far as I know, as far as I've ever I've seen, like the floors are remarkably clean for a place where strangers use scoops. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I don't mind using both. Yeah. yeah. What's your What's your absolute must at Bulk? You know, it's funny. One of the things I love about Bulk Barn is their dried fruit. And it's because I don't know... Like, I, I like apricots, but I don't like a giant bag of apricots. I like to try different dried fruits, but I don't necessarily love all dried fruits. So I might not. So it's, it's kind of weird. Like, you think... Like, I love the gummy selection. I love the idea of being able to just get, like, one or two. And sometimes they have stuff that I haven't seen around very much and all that. And I love that. But really, like, a lot of... And I love their seasonal stuff. Like... During the holidays, I, every time during a holiday, if I'm in Canada, I want to go to a bulk barn to sort of see what their holiday specials are. And I think it was, you know, a year ago when COVID sort of started, I was really disappointed because they, they sort of slowed down on their holiday stuff. And that's that's something I really look forward to. But there's no really one must that I get at bulk barn. I mean, there's stuff I get regularly, like the, the orange stuff, the orange powder for my popcorn is a regular thing. But... There's nothing that's like a must that I get. I mean, you, I know the chocolate covered almonds and hazelnuts are. Those are but those not aren't musts. Those okay. are for road trips. So what's your must? I, I've got well, I, I, it's not a must, but I really like the selection of like fun flavors of coffee. Like I love my first cup of coffee in the morning is always like a cup of coffee. It's normal, like usually a Tim Hortons. But you know, for my for my morning break, I kind of like to do something a little fun. So they've got this wide selection like they've got salted caramel flavored coffee they've got toffee brownie flavored coffee they've got like all these there's probably about 10 or 12 different flavors of coffee that that are just kind of fun to try out but my my real like lifesaver thing at bulk at bulk barn that i don't think i can get anywhere else is no sugar added almond butter crunchy because you can get almond butter in the grocery stores, yes, but it, even if it says crunchy, it really is just grainy. And so they have actual little crunchy, like I so miss, I can't eat peanut butter because I have a mold issue. I can't eat anything that's moldy. And peanuts and cashews are moldy. 
can't eat them. Love them both. Love peanut butter, love cashew butter, but almond butter is a great substitute. And to have the crunchy is just, I love crunchy nut butters. And so it's the only place that has like actual real chunks of almonds in their crunchy almond butter. So that to me is like, gotta have it. Yeah, although it's quite a challenge getting uh, the uh, the butter out of into those little containers. <laughs> it's like so stupid. But they do they they come with like like gigantic long handled spoons and they seriously I think they wash them every thirty minutes. Yeah. Like they do such a great job. But yeah. It's awesome to have. Yeah, I, I mean ballcorn. It is. It's one of those places where I think it's not celebrated enough as a really high-end Canadian snacking tradition. Well, it's not really considered high-end. Like, if you look in, inside it, it's like, it's it's just, everything is yellow, which screams, like, discount. That's the thing about Canadians. Yellow means discount. Because of No Frills. Yeah. We have a grocery store chain owned by Weston called No Frills, and it's just, the whole thing is, like, it's just yellow. And anything, like, the entire no-name store brand is just, like, plain yellow with the word no-name written on it. Americans are enthralled with No Name. No Name's awesome. But they love it because they, it's just so weird to have something that's like called No Name. Yeah, it's basically the No Frills store brand, but you can find it in all the Western grocery stores. Yeah, but, yeah we could do an entire show on No Name. Yeah, seriously. But, uh, but yeah, so Bulk Barn kind of has that motif that looks like sort of a, a bargain bulk store. Yeah. Which is really kind of really clever marketing because... I would say probably 70% of their products are more expensive than what you would find, like per pound. Uh, but 30% are actually cheaper, like the nut butters and the, yeah. the, the seeds. And, and again, if you don't need a whole pound, you could be yeah. sa- and you could end up you could end up saving money. And also, the only thing about the, the warning I'll give you about bulk barn is most of the time it's okay, but occasionally staleness happens. It does happen. So okay, I, I know that they rotate their stuff. Because, I mean, I've never seen it so, like, I've been to some candy stores where I'm getting stuff out of a scoop, and it's like, I get a thing of gummy worms, and like, I stick the scoop, and the scoop feels like it's going to break out of gummy worms, because they've been sitting there for so long. I think that the height of the staleness, in my experience, was a few months into the pandemic. Yeah, but even every once in a while, we'll get, like, some sunflower seeds, we're like, these are close, yeah. you know? But, I mean, you know, I think the first, the first six months or so of the pandemic... People didn't know what to do. They couldn't go into bulk stores, and I think that you know everybody was sort of finding their feet on how to deal with the pandemic. So um, I'm I'm pretty sure that like it's they're usually pretty good, but yes, there has been staleness in the past. A lot more staleness like come around like last November December it got pretty bad, and then now I don't notice it as much. Yeah, yeah. I'll, but you might hit it. You might hit it. Like, there's always a chance. And it yeah. depends on the individual stores, too. I believe that they are franchises. I'm not sure. So I I'm be- not an expert on that. I have a friend who works at one. You can ask him. And I believe... He talked about the owner. Oh, okay. So I think that, you know, I, I don't believe the Westin runs all of them. I think that it's a licensed thing and they buy their stuff from the distributor through Weston and everything like that. Which explains why sometimes some bulk barns have certain things and others don't. That's another thing. Bulk barn, both the good and the bad of bulk barn is that some some have different things and better things, you might say. I mean, better depend is completely subjective because like one place might have every spice you could possibly want and another place might have every gummy you want, but it depends if you want gummies or spices. You I know. totally love it for the spices. Spices are good too. Because, like, sometimes you just really don't want, like, a whole, like, 500 grams of paprika. You just need it for your... Like, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, it's totally good. So, yeah, I mean, bulk barn, it's, it's a... It's, it's, it's a standard. Not just for road trips. Not just for road trips, but amazing for road trips. Yeah. Like, I would recommend... I, I We often, like, probably a week or two before we're going, we go on any road trip, we sort of say, we have this thing, it's like, oh, well, if we're at a bulk barn, any time within those week or two before, let's... Think about getting a few things for a road trip. So, thanks for listening to another episode of Junk Food on the Road, where we talked about uh, Bulk Barn. Uh, as always, you can follow us on Twitter at Candy Critic or go to candycritic.org and candycritic.org. And finally, links all of our other social media, including Facebook and stuff like that, Instagram. Uh, also, make sure to check out Patreon, patreon.com slash candycritic. And there you get bonus content, weekend videos. Uh, you get these things ahead of time, you get them a week before they come out. That's kind of cool. 
and uh, sometimes I talk about what I'm going to do on the weekend video, so you, you'll, people will have heard about this months in advance, so they will know that this one was coming, so know to avoid it or not to avoid it. So um, thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Candy me, salty dog. Candy me, salty dog. Candy me, salty dog. Well, if you won't be my candy man, I won't be your salty dog. Little red light, little green light. Little red light, little green light. Little red light, little green light. The way you stop on the red and go on the green, don't you mess with Mr. In Between. Run and get the bucket, get your baby some beer. Run and get the bucket, get your baby some beer. Run and get the bucket. Get your baby some beer. Run and get the bucket, get your baby some beer. Run and get the bucket, get your baby some beer. Well, I do anything in this god almighty world. Keep my candy man here. Do anything in this god almighty world that will keep my candy man home.